How has the Center for Teaching and Learning Innovation assisted you in developing your scholarship of teaching and learning? This center has taught me so much going back from way back when we would go there. But um, I have Claire, I have Hunter, I have Claudine, I have Rose, um, who went through everything with me because I have so many questions on how to turn things around to teach the students and things that I could get, new things actually, from semester to semester to teach the students in order for them to have fun learning and a better way in order for them to understand what I mean, what is being taught. And with this center, I could come here and be relaxed and ask questions which are nine out of 10 times, I get more than I bargain for. And that is the wonderful thing about a teaching and learning center. You will get more than you bargain for because of the the education, um, you, because of what the amount of teaching styles, teach learning that you could get from them, you will have the opportunity to pick and choose what you want to fulfill the needs of your classroom. In what ways did the Center for Teaching and Learning Innovation provide you with instructional resources? and support such as the Teal Studio, best practices, and evidence-based instruction. In the Teal room, you have so many technological equipment that will help you to teach the, the students of today. Because you have the wall talkers, which I find is fabulous and should be in every classroom. Because when you put them into groups, you don't have to study about getting easel, you know, and which will be cost effective. You know, with the wall talkers, you have the opportunity to put them into groups and they can actually make all the errors and corrections that they need on the wall talkers. In terms of the access, you have access I will say 24 hours because no matter what time I come here or I, I can bring my class to the tea room, I have access to all they have to provide in order for me to teach the class in a 21st century environment. Why was it important to bring your students in the teal classroom? It was very important for me to bring my students to this classroom because it gave them what they can really see that what a technological classroom is all about. They loved working on the, the wall talkers and the chairs, they love the chairs because it can actually switch around and turn into a desk. They don't have to get up, which they love. And with this room, they find all the technology, they look at all the technology that is available and they wish all of this was in a classroom. And it gives them an opportunity to see that technology is not only in their house, it's also within Valencia College, it's in all universities. And with the technology that we have, it would be, um, it would give them a more active way of being involved in the classroom, um, especially as I do icebreakers. Now they had to create, and the wall talkers was very, you know, very well placed because it gave them the opportunity to talk, you know, to talk to the wall in their writing. <laughs> Laser. <laughs> 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 
How does it help you to improve your practice? This helped me to improve my practice because active learning is a passion of mine. I do not like lecture, 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 lecture. I like students to be involved in their learning. So that is the purpose of me using icebreakers because the icebreakers, I can table it to whatever subject I'm doing. So the, the presentation that you saw today is about the final story that the NSC, you know, have to do. And these students have to imagine themselves in the future, okay? And using their imagination for some of them is quite an ordeal. So what better way than to have them using the wall talkers and creating something other than themselves, you know? So that icebreaker you saw today was all about them creating something in the future. And who they want to be or who they can create. So they had to be creative and they had to think outside the box. They had to be, you know, outrageous and they had to have fun with it, but using their imagination to create something that they can, their altered ego can be. Okay, you're telling me this. 